have no sin, we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us. Let us confess our sin to God who is faithful and just and who has promised to forgive our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Most merciful God, have mercy on us. We confess that we have sinned against you in thought, word, and deed by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not trusted you with our whole heart. We have not loved one another in deed and in truth. In your compassion, forgive our sin, and so uphold us by your Spirit, that we may live and serve you in the midst of life, through Jesus Christ, our light and our truth. Amen. With joy I proclaim to you that Almighty God, rich in mercy, abundant in love, forgives you all your sin and grants you newness of life in Jesus Christ. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. generation. Bless parents, grandparents, teachers, pastors, volunteers, and all who share your good news with children. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, Lord, to whom shall we go? You have the words of eternal life. Alleluia. Reading from Deuteronomy. You shall put these words of mine in your heart and soul. You shall bind them as a sign on your hand and fix them as an emblem on your forehead. Teach them to your children, talking about them when you are at home and when you are away, when you lie down and when you rise. Write them on the doorposts of your house and on your gates so that the, your days and the days of your children may be multiplied in the 
land that the Lord swore to your ancestors to give them. As long as the heavens are above the earth, the word of the Lord. Thanks Thanks be to God. So this reading today has a benedictory tone. It has a a words of sending, a words of advice here. And as we look ahead to some uh, milestone moments in May with Graduate Sunday coming um, or having just passed and having the Order of St. Matthew's, uh, Order of St. Matthew induction and the prayer pod ministry as we commission and send people out. I think the question today could be, what words of benediction or advice, what phrase would you give to particularly young people going out to the world? I'll start. My advice, do not be afraid. Do not be afraid. That's funny because I was thinking, you're not alone. There are people out there that you just haven't met yet that are going to be great relationships, people that you'll know and be with for the rest of your life. For following up on don't be afraid, I would say be yourself. You know, we we tell young people to go out and share and um, be your parents, be the parents of these children and grandparents to their grandchildren. Don't be afraid to just be yourself. You don't have to have the right words all the time. You just have to have words. I would even think, you know, talk about writing these words from your heart, you know, the teachings that, you know, uh, that we give to our children before they move on in life, to, to don't rely on that, remember, you know, I mean, just, you just I, I think you actually make a conscious conversation about it, that so we've taught you how to live in the world, you know, so, you know, you'll know what to do when you get there, you know, do not be we have been prepared. Roots and wings language there. Yes. I would say uh, never stop learning. Oh, that's good. Yeah. And that like doing taxes is awful. <laughs> <laughs> like, great advice. Great yeah, advice. Yeah, Just get it done. That's a great one. Any advice, Miss Peggy? Well, be open to new experiences and um, trust in your own judgment. That's good advice. Very good words. Thanks be to God. Amen. Amen. Oh God of mercy, God of light, in love and mercy. Teach us as ever in your sight to live our lives in you. Let us pray. Lord, behold our family here assembled. We thank you for this place in which we dwell, for the love that unites us, for the peace accorded us this day, for the hope which would with which we expect the morrow, for the health, the work and food, and the bright skies that make our lives delightful. For our friends in all parts of the earth, we pray now for these we name in our hearts and on our lips. For all these things, we pray in your holy and precious name. Amen. 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 Receive this blessing. Almighty and merciful God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless, preserve, and keep us this day and forevermore. Amen. Amen. Praise to you, O God of mercy. Thanks be to you forever. Praising high, the weak and lowly. Thanks be to you. Just as you have taught us, thanks be to you forever. Strong is your faithfulness, strong is your love. Remembering your covenant of life with us, praise to you.
Serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God.